OK, let's look at a linear restriction setup. Let's start with probably the most famous sort of model where we might want to have linear restriction, which is the Cobb-Douglas production function. We're going to actually use the original data from Cobb and Douglas's article of the 1920s. So we're importing the data from Excel. Let's have a look at the actual data first of all. There's the data. We can see it's all indexes 1899 equals 100. Okay. Let's have a think about the Cobb-Douglas production function first of all. You may already have met it in your studies. What the Cobb-Douglas production function says essentially is this. That output equals A times K to the alpha, where K is capital, times L to the beta. Take logs of both sides, we get that form. And the linear restriction we're looking at here is what we call constant returns to scale. That is, alpha plus beta is equal to 1. So, okay, that's the model. First step in actually estimating this model, take logs in Gretel. We know how to do that, nice and straightforward. Then set up our OLS model. OLS model Q is a function of capital and labor. Doing it that way round. Got our model estimated here. Now, this is how you do your linear restriction. You go test linear restriction. Let's have a look. Labor's the second variable, so that's B2 coefficient. So that's B2. And capital is the third variable, so the coefficient B3. So our test is B2 plus B3 is equal to 1. Look at that. It even puts it there for us quite nicely. What's the test statistic? Does it a left test? Clearly, far below the critical value that's going to be. So, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. So, at the moment, we can't reject constant returns to scale at 95% level. 